The Land Before Time 14 Journey of the Brave came out on Netflix today. And I just watched it and boy, it was a journey. If you follow me on Twitter, I've been posting all about it today. Or at least in the past hour and a half at the time of recording this, because I know this is going to be out like in a few hours. But anyway, I was actually genuinely excited for this because the Land Before Time sequels were a big part of my childhood. Every time a new one would come out, I'd go to the rental store or watch it on the Cartoon Network Cartoon Theater. And I actually still have a couple on VHS. I have the, the sixth one and also the Big Freeze, but I don't have the case for that one. Oddly enough, I never owned the first one on VHS. I just rented it a lot. But now I own it on Blu-ray, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. But this isn't about the first film, it's about the 14th one! Universal had been making straight-to-video Land Before Time sequels from 1994 to 2007. And there was also a short series that was in 2007. And after nearly a decade hiatus, we finally get another Land Before Time sequel. I'm not sure why I'm saying finally, I mean, nobody really asked for it. But I guess they brought it back because of Jurassic World and that being so successful, so kids are into dinosaurs again. Which I am all for kids getting into dinosaurs because that's how I got into it as a kid with Jurassic Park and Land Before Time. So to see this trend kind of come full circle is kind of fascinating. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let me talk about the actual movie. So surprisingly, there is a bit of continuity in the Land Before Time franchise. But don't worry, if you are going to watch this, there's actually a bit of an explanation in the beginning of, of what has happened. Because apparently Littlefoot met up with his father in a previous installment and he comes around during spring every year I guess because he's part of this nomad herd and he's the leader of it but in this the herd comes around but Littlefoot's dad doesn't so it's up to Littlefoot and his friends to go search for his dad and find out what happened to him and they're chased by a few sharp teeth they meet up with a couple new characters like Wild Arms and Etta and they sing a few songs, you know, the usual Land Before Time sequel fare. And this may be my massive nostalgic bias but it's not really the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's not good, it's pretty mediocre, but it's just a mediocre kids film that's really harmless. There's nothing outright offensive about it. I mean, the animation itself isn't that great. The hand-drawn animation looks all right, but there are some weird 3D effects in some areas. And there's also a moment where they show a zoomed in background and you can see it kind of pixelated. But generally throughout the film, it's pretty competent. It's not as bad as something like Romeo and Juliet sealed with a kiss. There's a total of four songs, and there's really only one that I didn't really like. I mean, I didn't like the others that much, but the one about being hot and stinky just didn't do it for me at all. And plus, it just really wasn't needed. It just extended the length of the film, making it an hour and 22 minutes. The original Land Before Time is only an hour and nine minutes. But with that said, I do like the song sung by Reba McIntyre, mainly because it sounds the best because she's an actual singer. And to be honest, when I first heard the character of Etta, I thought it was Applejack. But that's just how Reba McIntyre sounds, I guess, because she is a country singer. Overall, like I said, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather watch a million more Land Before Time sequels than watch Norma the North again. So if you want to see this, it's on Netflix right now. And if you already have, tell me what you thought of it down in the comments. In the meantime, I'm going to watch the original Land Before Time a hundred more times to make up for what I said about the sequels not being that bad. And I will see you next time. Bye. This seems weird. Let me try my left hand. Oh, that's even weirder. Oh god. Close the video. Fade out. Fade out! I'd like to give thanks to my patrons this month. Thank you so much for supporting me. It really helps out a lot. And if you'd like to support me, click the annotation for the Patreon link. And if you want more movie reviews, click the playlist. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.